Hundreds marched through the streets of Bemidji to show unity after the deadly protests in Charlottesville, Virginia. As Mel Meyer reports, many people in the crowd wanted others to know that racism will not be tolerated here in northern Minnesota. The crowd quickly grew near the Green Mill restaurant as more gathered for a peaceful march to the Paul and Babe statues. They're grabbing signs right away, they're grabbing uh, the banners, and they're ready to stand strong against white supremacy in Bermidji. On Saturday, one woman was killed and many were injured when white supremacists violently clashed with counter-protesters over the removal of a Confederate statue. Paul Kivy disagreed with President Trump's remarks following the violence. And I think all the honking horns uh, that you can hear in the background there that uh, it's not that hard to tell who the bad guys are. When Alicia Lusher and her friend Brock Altizer heard about the event, they immediately jumped into action. My grandpa went to war to fight those people, so it's like that's kind of why I'm here, is because I have a strong feel for this. Kay Jackson wanted to participate in the march because she has been repeatedly subjected to racist remarks. She says that a little boy called her darky at the Beltrami County Fair over the weekend. Having that happen again in this day and age, by a young little kid like that just could kill me. Even though Jackson says she felt it wasn't the place to confront the issue, other allies are getting ready to step up to the plate. When something happens in a grocery store and you see some racism, you need to talk about it. By confronting the issue head on, many in the crowd are hoping to create a more tolerant and welcoming community for all. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. The Brainerd Lakes area will also stand against hate on Friday. The march will start at 6 o'clock at the Gregory Park Bandshell. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.